In tonight's episode, we finally meet the elusive lawyer that uh, Mia would like to have defend her. We discover some of the truth about Mia's history, and we also some learn more about the psychic goings-on at the mysterious mountain. Please join me as we continue to investigate the murder trial, interview the witnesses, look for the evidence, and make deductions. This is Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Part 6. Well, greetings and welcome back to Ace Attorney Part 6. Um, we have um, trying to uncover the evidence in this um, unfortunate murder case of my beloved boss. Um, so let's get right back into uh, talking to Detective Dick Gumshoe and see what else we can find out. Anyway, it is time to pay a visit to Miss May. I'm going to take that as my cue to leave. So let's go and head over to the detention center I guess hey what is it did you meet the lawyer sorry no I spoke to everyone else instead he wasn't there and he had a painting and I was allergic to it and so I haven't seen him yet I left and then I saw some detective guy with a pencil and I could see that you were happy and now you're sad I see hmm I'd better go and see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about Okay, this visit has gone really badly, so let's go and see if we can find the lawyer again in... I think, was it Gatewater Hotel? Or have I gone the wrong place? This isn't where I went before. Uh, start date, September the 6th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Um. Oh, hello. Well, I really haven't got enough girl voices. They're all going to have the same voice as the girls. <laughs> Well, hello there, handsome. Why is she holding her hands like that? She, it's like she's holding a handbag, but she's forgotten the handbag. But that, those are quite incredible eyes and a brilliant hair colour. She's clearly designed the whole flat around the, the, the colour of her hair. Um, hi. I'm going to be smooth. Real smooth. Smooth like a dog. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Tee-hee. Memo to self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job even harder. Strange little earthquake there. Gee, this is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine that one. Oh, that might actually be me. Right, while she's busy freshening herself up, let's rummage through all her stuff. Wonder if there's any underwear in here. No clues there. Okay, how about this thing? There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, hey, hey! Angry, angry, psychotic eyes. Wow. We're still with the hands in the same position. I, oh, wow. Did you see the eye? Oh, her eye. Oh, <laughs> she's got a little twitch in her eyes. She's got that much rage. That is scary. Um, what are you doing? No touching! Oh, bad boy! And now return to normal. You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? Upset? No! I thought you were going to explode for a second there, and then I discovered that the, uh, the hair colour is actually just from the fire burning within. But I do wonder what could be inside that drawer. Let's examine the drawer again while she's in front of me. Hmm, what's inside, I wonder? <coughs> Maybe later. Let's have a look at the champagne. A bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. A painting. I'm allergic to that one. It's a still scene painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever. I don't know anything about art, and it's large, and it's hanging on the wall. Look, flowers! And they're fake, as expected. She has no class. I know sunflowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge, except when my friends at school used to call me a pansy. It's her bed. It's a simple bed. Let's see if we can make something of it. It's been recently made, and there's nothing eye-catching here. Ah, we can probably look out the window. Uh, the late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Fay & Co. Law Office's building, of course, with the murder scene. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognise a face from this distance, though. 
have I examined the scene? I thought there would be a phone here, though, because she was on the phone when she was talking to us. Um, and there wasn't one. Um, okay, yeah. A bottle and two glasses are still on the table. Someone still must be staying with it. Right, okay, and there's nothing over here. Right, back. No clues here! Let's talk to her and ask her some questions about her personal life. Uh, are you single? Uh, do you think you could... Tell me so. Do you think you could take, tell me something? Make up some stuff. I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Ooh. Observe? Incident? You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. This game is for children. This game is for children, and yet she's <laughs> clearly forgotten half her top and just talked about my big, my big vocabulary. This is wrong. Bad game. Bad. Um, uh, I, I'd better not encourage her. I'm a professional. Um, you know that thing that occur, um, happened the other day. You know the bad thing with the with the girl and the the, the the statue thing. The clock. You know the clock. When did you see it happen? I don't suppose you could tell me about it, pretty please, preferably without referring to my vocabulary. Well, let me see. Um, well, dream on! Ha <laughs> ha! If you want to know, you'll just have to come to the court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. And well, could you, could you just, well, um, well, who exactly are you? And, and, and do you need a button for your top? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? I'm not available, you know. No, no, no. Hey, no, look, I'm just doing my job here, trying to help out a old friend, you know. Tee, you know, you're cute when you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my I've blushed this time in my life. I mucked up that sentence. I didn't even read it properly. Mm -hmm. That's not really words, is it? Right, can you just tell me what it is that you do? Although I can pretty sure I can guess. Well... No! Tee hee! And you had your little hopes up, didn't you? I'm just going to hold my hands here and look disparagingly at you. Oh boy! Well, let me ask you about your room instead. I see there are two glasses on the table. Would you like a drink? Is someone staying here with you? Ooh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives like on television, or like Detective Dick Gumshoe. Oh no, not me. I'm a I'm just a lawyer, but I'm a cool lawyer with cool hair and cool suits and a cool finger and I can I can travel to space. Let's have a drink. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. Hmm. Oh boy, I don't understand what she just said, really. Is that it? I could show her some evidence. Uh, well, I don't think there's any evidence here she'd be particularly interested in. Uh, okay, well, let's go and uh, look in the garbage then. Apparently, we'll uh, we'll move back to Fay and K. Oh, and we've now got different law offices coming up again. Now, she said, "Go look in the garbage." She didn't like having her trash looked into. Ah, oh, hey, she. Um, can we look in the trash? There's a horrendous amount of stuff here. Blah, 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 blah. Stuff and stuff. No, there's no bin. And there's nothing new to ask him. So I guess that was a bit of a waste of time. Um. It keeps changing the options it's giving me. Oh, it's changing the options because I'm moving. Okay, fair enough. Let's go to the law offices and see if that guy's turned up yet. Hmm, this seems like Mr. Grossberg is still out. Well, maybe I should just wait for him to come back. Oh! A new character. <coughs> if that wasn't the almost over top of clearing of the throat I've ever heard, even better than mine. Oh, wow. This guy looks kind of... Big, jolly, and German, doesn't he, I think? So, kind of like a... Oh, so, so you are the friend that they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I'd imagine. What a moustache. He could defeat maybe that judge from the first trial. And have you ever seen such tiny glasses with such large eyes and a bulbous chin? Oh, yes. That badge on your collar. Ah, 
so you are a lawyer, are you now? Yes. Well, uh, yes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a lawyer. I'm Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Yeah. And what is it that you want? I'm not particularly busy these days, but please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Where were you? You were asleep, weren't you? Or maybe getting a snacksy or ten. But I love your suit. It's orange with a yellow tie. Mmm. I'm gonna get me one of those. Hmm. Is something the matter? You came to see the one and only Marvin de Grossberg, I think you not. Well, here I am, boy. What is it you want? Out with it. Come now. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Mayor. Mayor Fay. Oh! Let me look at you over the top of my glasses. I can see that you are far more interesting to perceive. Ah, yes, uh, Mayor Fay. Uh, well, go on. Hmm. Why the strange reaction? I wonder if this guy's got something to hide. Maybe he's the murderer. Finger! Point the finger at him! Did you kill her? Did you? Ah, cha, cha, cha. Put your finger down. Look, I'm really quite busy here, son. Why don't you just go and uh, have a look outside? There's a nice bacon shop outside. Help yourself to some waffles. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice, you see. It's quite, quite impossible. Hang on, wait a second. You're the mar famous Marvin Grossman. You can do anything. You're amazing. You even pull off that suit. And how did you know the trial was tomorrow? Ha ha! Oh, uh, 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 excuse me, uh, I am now sweating from the forehead. But uh, anyway, um, I, I, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry. End of discussion. Bye bye. See you soon out. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Mayor? Oh, we've got. Detected V music here. Suspicious music, as I. Well, I've already looked around his room, and I don't think anything's changed, so. Let's talk to him. Let's ask him some stuff. First of all, we have to deal with that, that painting. It's clearly a health hazard. I'm allergic to it. Let's find out what he has to say about it. That's that's quite a painting there. Um, who did it? Did you do it? Kinda makes you look like you got a halo at the moment. I can see your halo. Hello, hello. Aha! Yes, yes. You know just the painting. It is an original. It was done by a little boy. It is my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the wave of the straw hat. It is quite, quite beautiful. It is worth at least three million, and I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I don't know who you are. I wasn't interested. It's horrible. I'm allergic to it. It hurts my brain just being this close. My fingers are on fire. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez, you're crazy. Why is everyone crazy? Everyone in this, everyone in this game appears to either be crazy or dead. Let's talk about Mia. Well, how did you know Mia Fey? <laughs> Well, she, she, uh, <clears throat> uh, worked here a long time ago. Uh, quite the apprentice, that one. <clears throat> um, I learned my techniques in a blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? A secret agent? Let's make that slightly dramatic sound of discovery that only comes up when nothing really important has happened. You could see it in her eyes. She wanted to go and be a famous lawyer. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. Excellent. That conversation told me nothing helpful. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me, why won't you take the case? Are you scared? Are you a coward? Are you allergic to court cases? Ah, uh, well, <coughs> well, you see, it's just um, I'm, I, I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia Faye's sister. <clears throat> Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. And here you are, cowardly sweating. Yes, well, yes, of course. I mean, I know that, obviously. But however, however, I'm sorry, but I, I must refuse. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Ah, you dirty, creepy man in your yellow little strange weird suit thing. Your chin's hanging over your tie. What does that say about your fashion sense? It's disgusting. Fine, I'm out of here. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere, because I'm Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Lawyer type thing. I think not. 
Huh? Did you say something? Have you got something to say? Do you want to take this outside or inside or sideways? I'll take it on anywhere. I'm bigger than you, faster than you, stronger than you, and generally more cool than you. I think not. I said. What do, what do you mean? Stop messing with my head, strange, strange European man. I'm, I'm terribly, terribly sorry, but I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. I'm terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I'm worth lots of salt. My mother told me. She weighed me and was like, wow, this boy's worth salt. I, 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 I cannot say. I will just give you some punctuation and let the sound hang in the air. I beg your pardon, but could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? Conspiracy, rumours, murders, backsnapping, and all of a sudden I feel rather in danger. How about I show him some evidence? That'll get him involved. Hey, what do you think about this phone conversation? Yeah, let's present this. I'm very sorry, but i got nothing to say regarding the matter. Well, he's not going to be helpful, is he? I guess then we're going to have to go back to poor old Mia and say that he's not interested. Stardate, September the 6th, 3.42pm. Detention Center. Visitor. Please go faster. Please go faster. Visitor's room. Hi, how you doing? That guard behind you's been on duty for a long time and he still hasn't moved. But I think he might win that blinking competition with the wall. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Uh, well, uh, well, uh, what do I tell her? Well, see, uh, let's, shall I be honest or um, shall I lie? Lie like a dog. Um, I think... This time, I uh, I really don't think you should use that guy. He's uh, he's from Europe. Um, he didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones, practically wasting away. A really thin, thin man. Punctuation. What really happened? Quite clearly, he's not thin. He's the size of a small third world country. Come now, be honest with me. Damn, she saw through my ruse. I should stop lying, lying like a dog. It never works. You don't mean... He refused to help. Um, uh, uh, I see. Sadness. Looking forlornly. Puppy dog eyes. I've been abandoned then. Yes, you have. Well, bye. <laughs> God. She's not having a good couple of days, this poor girl. Um, sure, let's ch change the subject and make her feel better by asking her about her dead family or whatever. What about your family? I only have a cost. This is the worst, saddest story of all time. My f my father died when I was very... This isn't funny. I don't know why I'm laughing, but it's just... It's so tragic that I'm almost expecting some sort of dinosaur to burst through the window and just eat her to complete the story of tragedy. I don't know where my mother is. Don't know. So she could still be alive, potentially. Yes, Phoenix, because that's what people mean when they say they lost their family members. Let's talk more about your mum. It sounds like you haven't had enough pain talking about your dad and your sister, so let's talk about the other missing people. The women in my family have been mediums for generations, but I'm the first petite. They say that ESP runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in a <clears throat> an incident. There was a man, and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Drama. Ruined? I need to look that up in a dictionary. I don't know what she means. After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, in quotes, and she left the mountain of crazy peoples. So, you live by yourself then? No one really loves for you or cares for you and the lawyers just turned you down? Yes. I've gotten used to it, I'm very happy, and I've got an imaginary friend called Frida. Say hello, Frida. Hello! You see, I'm fine. Oh, and also, I had to become an independent, or I would lose my ESP. I feel bad for her all by herself up on that mountain, but quite clearly she's crazy, and hey, let's face it, she's got Frida. Hello! So she'll be fine. Let's talk about your mother's enemy, because... 
let's face it, you're in prison, you're pretty sad, so let's, what, what's the worst could happen? You get a bit sadder? Um, so who was this man who, uh, <coughs> uh, ruined your mother? Well, about 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? That's crazy. I'd never do that. Now, who's the murderer? The police tried to contact my... Oh, no, I can't speak properly. The police convinced my mother to try and contact the victim. Wow. So, well, what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? Dramatic sound. The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. No! Surely not. This whole medium stuff can't be rubbish all along. Maybe he was framed by the victim. That's just like that victim getting themselves killed just to frame some guy that didn't do it for the murderer. It's genius. No one should respect the person that's dead. The police consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But, but a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She... She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation and of the mountain. I see. It must have been a big story. Shock, horror, psychic comes out with not being entirely accurate story. Crazy. I'd buy that paper. You sarcastic little man. White. White? Ooh. Well, at the murderer, we had that person that said red, white, and blue. White. It's completely meaningless to me, but clearly something quite dramatic has happened because the music stopped and we heard the bling stop. So, hey, audience, remember white. Excuse me, white, are you trying to cause a racial incident? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. I'm sure they'll be very good quality. Um, you're sitting in front of a lawyer. Anyway, it's 4 p.m. now. Time's up. Um, I've got to go and do anything else but be here. Uh, what should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Oh, God. Well, I suppose morality and generosity and general niceness says that we should defend this quite clearly disturbed, depressed, shell husk of a woman. <laughs> Sure, let's see if... She'll turn us down. We'll do it. We'll say we'll do it, and then she'll be like, no, screw you guys. You're, you're, you're rubbish. I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you, whether you want me to or not, because that's what happens. If you're on death row, you can't choose anything. Ah, I'm now genuinely scared. I was fine before, but now... Why? Why? Well, it's because I'm a good lawyer, and... I thought you'd be pleased, rather rather than this strange kind of state of shock you've gone into. Um, <laughs> to be honest, the honest answer is that I don't know why, but let's pretend that I'm chivalrous and I'll say I can't abandon you and maybe if she gets out of jail then maybe uh, I'll get a date out of it and if I'm lucky, some sex. I can't abandon you! No one is as sad as a person without any friends. Therefore, I'm staying with you because, let's face it, no one else will. I know. I've been there a long time ago. I'm incredibly sad as well. I came from the mountain, in fact. And I'm a psychic. I know what colour hair you've got. Wow, that was a young phoenix. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Mayor. I won't abandon you. You can count on me. I can be your hero baby. I can kiss away the pain. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Um, that's so very kind of you. Um, I just need to cry now. Because I'm so <clears throat> happy that you're defending me. Good. I will stand by you forever. You can take my breath away. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Don't worry, I, I won my last case really well. 
Right, right, good. Um, thank you. I'm just going to go and uh, tie my prison bread sheets into some kind of uh, noose pattern. Whoa, she smiled at last, and she looks like an entirely different person. Yes, she does, Phoenix. I wouldn't wouldn't be able to pick her out of a lineup. Um, one last question. Um, <laughs> you can't you can't ask her that. I'm going to defend you. <laughs> But you are innocent, right? You didn't actually bludgeon my boss over the head with a large clock. Yes! Okay, angry. And I trust you! So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal! I'm just going to be over here behind the uh, the glass. So, what next? It's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer. Hmm, let me think. She's clearly oversexed. It's small, blue, long, and round. Let's think about carefully about what it could be and why she wouldn't want you to see it. It was tried. It was when I tried to look into that drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. So hey, let's stop talking about this murder and start just raiding people's private drawers. Okay, well let's go and break into that woman's hotel. Who the hell are you? <laughs> oh, good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are who? And is that tea? Is that biscuits? Is that muffins? I love biscuits and muffins. Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment. Sir. I'm at your service, sir. Oh. Oh, yes. Uh, right. Excellent. Cool. I like your hair. It's not quite as cool as mine, but it's definitely on the scale of cool. Maybe a four, maybe a five, but that's a lot better than Detective Dick Gumshoe. He's a one. I've just come up to deliver room service there. Okay. Uh, great. Lovely. Uh, do you know where Miss May might be? Uh, I do believe um, our guest, uh, Miss May, is currently using the <coughs> uh, facilities. If you're in no need of anything, I'll be uh, taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. I wear this isn't your room, but just have a look round it. Maybe rummage through some of the drawers. It'll be really quite good fun. Sure, yeah, I'll do that. You just, you know, get out and let me rummage through stuff that doesn't belong to me. Wait, no, hey, wang on. Uh, why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Hurrah! Oh, wait, hang on, uh, sir, I, I almost forgot. Um, uh, ah, you came back very quickly with more biscuits. Might I inform you, Miss Bay, that there's a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp found... Oh, right, yep, sure, great, yep, lovely. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? <laughs> it was like 30 seconds ago. White... Flashback. Thank you for the flashback. Otherwise, I really wouldn't have known where that came from, but I've got it now. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Well, let's stop worrying about this murder case and check out this strange drawer. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. Ha-ha! What do we have here? A wire tap. Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wire tap added to the court record. Found in Miss May's hotel room. A wire tap. There is definitely something suspicious about this, Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room that overlooks the murder scene? There's a story behind all this, I know it. If only I could put together the pieces of the fact that someone is in a hotel room that overlooks the victim's place with a wiretap in their drawer. Hmm, I'll need to put this together at some other time. All right, I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. I'm sure the court will really let me admit it. <laughs> I found this in your flat. I stole it from you when you were in the bathroom. For mayor's sake, hurrah! I'll get to this woman's bottom. <laughs> Please tell me that's not the dialogue. Wait. Oh, I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, bellboy. Still there? Uh-oh, time to scram. I'll come back for the bottom later. I've looked forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. To be continued.
And I think this actually brings us very nicely uh, to the end of our particular video. Turnabout Sisters, do I wish to continue on to the next part? Uh, well, yes, I do, but I think we will do it um, in the next video. Uh, thank you very, very much for uh, joining me on this particular episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. If you've enjoyed it, then do please give the video a like and uh, do subscribe for more stupid role plays, tutorials, guides, uh, mod videos, and anything else from me, the Adipose. Uh, it's been great to sp spend this time with you. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.